so hello friends welcome once again to our channel and through this video by the end actually you'll be able to create a database which can be given to sub, uh, to manage a departmental store that is you will be able to create these tables create a database like this establish relationship between the tables create queries to show the name of each product ordered and even filter prices of products whose cash is less than 50 shillings we'll be able to create a form to allow ordering of product details and even print the three tables and the query welcome once again and let us start by reading the question the information given below is on product supplies and orders for departmental store so we have three tables one two and three as you can see here and then each table has got its fields like products table has got product ID, the name of product, retail price of unit, of a unit of the product and the number of units of the product. Table 2 the same it has got its fields and even table 3. And here is the data, all the records inside the tables. Therefore, we are going to create these three tables and we'll start with the first table which is prod, uh, products table. And we're going to begin by creating a database. So new. Microsoft Access. Go to the instructions here. The name of database should be Final DB. Therefore, we're gonna rename it as Final DB. And open enable content. Create table design. And now apply all those fields. The first one was uh, product ID. The other one is product name the other one is retail price and then we have number of units uh, number of units number of units is obvious quantity in terms of quantity therefore this is a number retail price can be given as a currency product name and product id can be can use so uh, let us see the order here product ID here is number so we're gonna use the number so this is number and it is an auto number we auto increment where is it and it is the product here according to the instruction as shown here product ID is the unique identifier so set as primary key and then save the table as save the table as yes product uh, product table then with the first table we're going to create a second table again you see the same same procedure that is table design and then come up with this field that is supplier ID then supplier name we also have supplier address and then we have supplier town and we have supplier telephone number if we check here from this table you will find that from the suppliers table from the suppliers table um, we can set the first field to be a uh, number the second one to be text third one to be a number fourth one to be a text and fifth one to be a number first one is a number second one is text third one is a number fourth one is a text and fifth one is a number and the foreign and the primary key here is according to the instruction to the supplier id therefore right click and set as primary key and then control s to save it as uh, suppliers table we are done with this close the table again we're going to create that table which is um which is what orders table we have order id we have uh, product id Referring from the 
other one okay we have supply id id we have full sale price and we have number of units uh, date of this and the date order we have product date product was ordered at the date received oh yes date received let us okay let us check the structure of our tables that is the table three you can see the first one will be a number the second field a number that one number fourth one a number fifth one a number sixth one date at the time seventh one date and time therefore date and time the other one is also date and time but for the number of units it is number like wholesale price will be currency supply id is a number remember from the other table it was also a number product id was also a number remember from the products table and order id let us confirm the other id again we have seen it is also a number it is a number and the order id is our primary field or unique identifier then we are done with this save as our orders table done with the three tables question two create relationships between the tables so let us link these tables accordingly create with the relationship you can get it from uh, database tools here and we shall see the three tables so just select by table then add the other one is orders product add suppliers add we are done with the three tables you can space them out so that we may link them if you check this table it is not visible all fields are not visible the right click at the head and then size to fit others are totally okay now if you are keen you'll find that um, we have orders table and this order id is not related to any field here but product id is related to this product id therefore link it by drag and drop to product id just like this oh no it is not product name this product id enforce differential integrity and then click
us. Remember, we are answering question B Roman 2. And items whose retail price is below 50 shillings. First of all, let us run our query to see what is here. Already we have the data here. And you want items whose retail price is below 50 shillings. Retail price here should be below 50. That is, uh, let us go and do it. So, retail price. Check here from criteria and type less than 50. Once you are done with this, go to query design and run. And you shall see all the items whose, I, uh, whose cost price, my retail price is less than 50. Then you're going to save it. So that's how you do it. The other question should be asking about what? Create a form to allow the entering of the product details and add an appropriate form title. That is product details. So we're going to create a form. Go to create tab. Then form wizard. And you want product table. Add all of these fields and then go to next. Can to uh, check columna form. And the name of the form should be, can just save it as a product F. Then finish. We have been told that we should enter an appropriate title. This is not appropriate. So right click the form and go to design view. Change this uh, name to product capture form. capture form you can enlarge the field like this you can also center align it and apart from that you can make the form more look more better or good by changing the background so let us change the background to this back color to this color the same applies to this one here again back color to which color white this one here another thing we can apply to this form is you can click here click right here and then check the pop-up and set it to be yes set it to be yes and then after that open your save your form and open it in form view and this is how the form will look like a very nice one you can also choose to add buttons to your form for quick navigation just down here adjust the size and then go to click the button control then can give it a name use the wizard there's a form operation a record operation and I want it to save record you just call it save then finish another one for uh, next or a new record then it's a record operation and I want it to add new record so I call it add and finish so you can now select both of the form uh, the buttons go to format and change the shape quick style pick one of these styles actually actually after that what else follows right click and side them to the widest it's gonna be good you can also align them to the bottom i think this one is okay let us see our new form now that's how it will look like if i click save this record will be saved if i click add a blank form will be there now i can type the data here 